Hello, I'm Joe Snell with Al Monitor, and here are your latest headlines from around the Middle East and North Africa. Russian President Vladimir Putin traveled to Tehran on Tuesday to meet with Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi and Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The trio face growing isolation over Russia's war in Ukraine, Iran's nuclear ambitions, and the war in Syria. Speaking of Syria, on Wednesday, Damascus formally broke diplomatic ties with Ukraine. Syria is a strong ally of Russia. And remember that when Moscow joined Syria's war in 2015, it helped sway the balance of power to President Bashar al-Assad. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi completed a three-day visit to Serbia. It was the first by an Egyptian president to the country in more than three decades. The visit culminated in the country's agreeing to boost cooperation in an effort to deal with the global fallout of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Finally, U.S. President Joe Biden on Saturday wrapped up a four-day tour of the Middle East that included stops in Israel, Palestine, and Saudi Arabia, and a summit of Arab leaders. All eyes were on Biden's meeting with Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in a move some U.S. officials criticized as rewarding a dictator.